Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Summer Solstice. Yes, Yay. today is the day. Da, 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 Love Summer da, Solstice. Da, da. It's so much fun. It's not sunny today, though. Unfortunately. That's all right. That's all right. We'll I'm take it. I'm still excited. We're still celebrating. Still love summer solstice. Absolutely. How was your workout? Workout was good. Yeah? Yeah. I did uh, back, triceps, and abs. I almost forgot what I did today. <laughs> I'm surprised how cold they keep it in the gym. In the summer, in the wintertime, we can't get them to the heat in. Right. And in the summer, because they say it's too expensive, but in the summertime, they want to make an ice box. I'm like, isn't it expensive for it to be an ice box? Yes. Yeah. No rhyme to reason, as yeah. they say. I did back and by, so got the guns out today. Look at those guns. Which is fun. My gosh. Um, so that's good. What do you have for breakfast? So, I have to have a confession. Oh. Okay. I have to make a confession. What's that? Actually, what I eat every morning for breakfast is oatmeal. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. That's so what ridiculous. I, that's what I say, isn't it? Why are oh, you giving this so sure. much but, drama? But, however, our oatmeal has changed since it's gotten warmer out. I've taken out the pumpkin seeds, so I'll run through you really quick what I have in my oatmeal. So I have still cut oats that we that you know we have every morning, and then with that I have um, chia seeds, hemp seeds, um, flax seeds. Flax seeds, yes. Well, I'm drawing a blank here. I have to put in cinnamon. I forgot the cinnamon. Um, bananas, blueberries, and raisins. What I'm missing? Oh, and and uh, spirulina. Mm -hmm. What's missing from there is the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I decided to leave that out now is because we eat more salads in the summertime. And I like them on my salads. Mm -hmm. so, um, rather than doing it twice, you right, can split them out of the oatmeal. Makes yeah. sense. So that's the difference. So now maybe you're under 1,000 calories now. Yeah, I'm pro well, yes, yeah, probably about 150 calories less. Okay. Yes. So, that's so good. just thought I'd be honest about that. that it, and also this, this morning we have coffee. And if you guys follow us regularly, you know that Thursdays are usually fasting days for us. Right. But we've decided not to fast today. Well, basically, Russ decided not to fast. Right. And if he wasn't going to, I wasn't going to try and do it by myself. There's nothing worse than trying to fast when the house smells like food because someone else is cooking. True. And the reason we've decided not to is that fasting takes a certain amount of mental energy. It just mm -hmm. does. It's the reality of fasting. And we have a lot going on right now because as you know, we've got our How to Feed a Human webinar coming up on Wednesday. Right. If you have not gone to sign up at howtofeedahuman.com, please do. Um, there's going to be a lot of great information that we offer on that webinar and it's completely free to attend, so don't miss that opportunity to go to howtofeedahuman.com. But because of that and the work we're doing to get you know prepared for that, I think the mental energy to be to fast, we just decided we don't have today, so we're not going to fast. And we'll decide if we're fasting on Monday, on Monday. Exactly. Um, today in the gym, I did back and buys. I think I told you that. And then for breakfast, I haven't started it yet because I was busy running around trying to get ready for this live. But um, I'm gonna be doing um, sweet potato and hummus. And I'll probably put some flax seed and, and hemp seeds or something on it. And I freshly ground some up for you today. Did you? Thank yes. you. Yeah, right. I'll, because flax seed you have to grind or your body can't use it. Right. And I also wanted to mention that today and tomorrow will be the last two days that you'll see us on Robin's personal page. Yep. Because um, as you as we have said this whole week is that we've been broadcasting on two pages, the Robin's personal page and the r and r journey page and starting next week we'll only be broadcasting on the r and r journey page yeah so if you want to continue to see us make sure that you like the r and r journey page it's called r and r journey to health on facebook because that will be the only place you'll be able to find our videos live we will share them to our personal page but you'll get them you know after they're already right. over and i'm not sure how, how facebook does it but i do know that if i type in r and r journey we do up. pop up as the usually the top. Our pretty um, faces are on there. Exactly. So yeah, make sure you like the R and R journey page so you'll continue to see us. Did we have anything else we wanted to add before I go into blueberries? No, let's talk about blueberries. So Russ and I eat a lot of blueberries. Um, if you watch us, you know that we eat blueberries for breakfast and oatmeal. I put them on salads. If I don't have them in oatmeal, we eat a lot of blueberries. And so I wanted to do some research and share with you what blueberries actually do for the body because they are a super healthy food. They've been called a superfood. So I wanted to talk to you about what does it actually do? Why is it a superfood? So the first thing to know is that blueberries um, improve artery function so they can bring your blood pressure down to you know a healthy, a healthy rate. But how much? How much blueberries do you have to eat? Well with blueberries some is good, more is better, up to about two cups. Now, if you're eating two cups of blueberries, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that you're putting them in a smoothie. I've told you before that drinking your calories is not as good for your body as chewing them because part of 
the um, a bit availability of nutrients for your body starts within the saliva and with the chewing process. So if you decide to um, have a smoothie, put something in it that you have to chew, whether it's you know oatmeal or seeds or something to give you that chew because it's important. So blueberries up to two cups. You can eat more than that if you want, but the benefits of it kind of peak out at two cups. And I guess the point is there's no harm to eating more. No. I mean, what, what, what did they say in um, the uh, thing that we saw was basically just you'll go to the bathroom more. <laughs> That's the side effect. Right, exactly. You can eat blueberries fresh, you can eat them frozen, you can eat them cooked. It doesn't matter, you still get the benefits from them. So no matter where you get, how you eat your blueberries, it's fine. Over time, if you eat blueberries consistently, they increase the natural killer cells that your body uses, kind of the centurions that go out and you know kill cells that are broken. So if you eat them consistently, you will increase the killer cells in your body, which is a good thing. Um, the, the positive thing in blueberries is the blue color which is called anti anthocyanins, anthocyanins, I don't know, I can't say that word. But anyway, it's the blue color is thought to be the good part. But interestingly, when they measure it, it seems like almost none of it ends up in the blood. So they felt like, well, so does it just work even if it's just a tiny little bit or is something else going on? And what they realized is that yes, initially only a tiny little bit of it ends in your blood, but as it moves through your GI tract, your body actually converts it into something else in the gut, and your gut uses it. So your gut uses it in a different format, so when they measure it in the blood, they can't find it because it doesn't exist that way in your, anymore. So it's really good for your gut the next day, which is amazing, love that. Love. I mean, there's not many foods out there that have a, a, a you know, residual benefit. Beans are one and apparently blueberries are another. It's also productive, uh, protective against cognitive decline because it stops the clumping of proteins in the brain. You'll also get the same thing from strawberries. So eat, you know, eat your berries definitely. But one thing I wanted to share with you that I feel like is really important when it comes to blueberries, if you eat them with dairy, so if you're adding your blueberries to yogurt or you're making your smoothie with dairy milk, you're going to completely block the benefits of it. And not only that, the dairy is actually going to reduce the amount of ox antioxidants in your blood. So eating blueberries with dairy is completely unproductive. Right. I mean, we've told you, you shouldn't, that dairy is not a great choice for food anyway, but it completely removes the antioxidants and And that goes for milk and cereal if you're putting blueberries in it. Yeah, just anything that has dairy. Blueberries attached. are great, but don't eat them with dairy. Right. That's kind of the bottom line. Um, did you have anything you wanted to add about blueberries for them? Um, no, I will say that I put approximately a cup of blueberries in my oatmeal every morning. Yeah. And, in, and Robin, when she has oatmeal, she does the same thing. Yeah. And I love to put them on my salad when we have fresh. So. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention, and this is not about the blueberries, but about where we're broadcasting, and that is if it's pixelating on the Robin's personal, personal page. page, it's because that's using our Wi-Fi. And the um, r and Journey page is using a hard line, so that... It be, shouldn't pixelate should on the hard line. Threat. If it does, we'll call Verizon and complain to them. Exactly. <laughs> so let us know. Absolutely. Um, I'll, of course, like and share if you're getting value out of these. It's how we get to make a difference is by reaching more people. Let people know about our webinar, HowToFeedAHuman.com, if they're interested at all in health and wellness. If they want to know how to, how to feed a human to be healthy, the How to Feed a Human webinar is a great opportunity for them to get a first kind of taste. And again, it's HowToFeedAHuman.com. We are on YouTube, Instagram, and of course our Facebook page. If you have not liked the Facebook page, you need to do that sooner than later. And our um, business website is RNRJourney.com. Right. Anything else? I think you got it all this time. I got it all. Yay for me. All right, we're going to go eat breakfast. I hope you guys have a great summer solstice. Yes, indeed. So with that, we will say, eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Take care. Day, Bye.